Good evening ladies and gents, Alien Sweet Potato here with another To The Point tutorial. Today's episode is on Ancient Warfare 2 and how to get started. There are three things that you're going to want to make right off the bat. The first is going to be the research table, the research book, and the engineering table. Let's start by crafting the research table. We're going to need one chest, one piece of wood, one crafting table, two gold ingots, and four iron. That gives us a research station. The research book is going to be four leather, three paper, and two iron. And last but not least, the engineering station which is where you're going to be crafting everything for Ancient Warfare. Much the same as the research station, but without the gold. So it's just iron. Now, I'm going to place them right here. The book is extremely important. It is the basis of how you craft anything in Ancient Warfare 2. So you're going to click once with the book as your active item on your hotbar in order to set you as the researcher for the book. Now if you, sorry that was right click to do that, now if you right click again after that you have all of these categories and if you click on them you'll see what each one will give you when you research it. Now in order to do research, you're going to want to put this book up here in this top left slot and you'll see it changes the name at the top to who the owner of that research book is. You don't need to worry about these three buttons for right now, I'll be covering them in a later tutorial. It will help to automate your research. You're going to want to go to the research queue and pick whatever uh, category best suits the first things you want to be doing. If you want to remove items from your research queue, you just hit the uh, minus button next to them and you can add them back at any time. As I said, you can look them up through right-clicking on the book and see exactly what each one gives you. Another way of seeing the categories and what they will give you when you research them is to just hit the info button next to the book while it's in your research station. So our first one is invention. In order to research any category it's going to take resources. This needs charcoal, string, sticks, and torches. So let's go get those. So when you have all of your items together, you're going to place them on the left side in the same pattern as what it shows you it needs. And it'll initiate research on its own. Don't need to press anything. Now that's done, it'll go to the next item that you put in your research queue. And you can hit escape to get back to the main interface and it'll show you the next set of items that are needed for research. When you've completed researching the category that you need and you're ready to craft, you're going to take your research book and put it in the slot in the top left of the engineering station. Some of these categories, like uh, invention that I learned and Siege Warfare don't actually unlock items directly, they unlock other categories for you to research. If you click the check mark button in the top left, it toggles between category view, that tells you what each category does, and item view, that tells you what research you need to get the item you want. So we already learned invention. We can see in our queue that we now have agriculture and leadership lined up to research. If we go back to info, we can see what exactly they're going to teach us. Agriculture is going to teach us the crop farm, which is very useful. 
leadership is going to teach us all the things that you need in order to be able to spawn NPCs, which are what does the work for you. It's the automated aspect of Ancient Warfare 2. We'll be covering each aspect of this separately in bite-size increments. In the next episode, we'll be crafting NPCs to start work for us, and I'll show you how to get them working. This has been Alien Sweet Potato with another To The Point tutorial. Happy adventuring!